happens to everyone you come across once you leave this school. You never know how it could impact a life, and you never know how it could impact yours. Now I know, give someone a smile sounds like a dumb slogan that would hang on a poster next in the hang in there, kitty, but I don't mean to give it to others. Smile for your own benefit. Failed a test? Just smile. Something didn't go your way? Smile. Your rap career gets ended by a diss rap? Just smile. <laughs> a smile has a capability to brighten up your entire day. It will put you in a good mood and remind you of all the great things going on in your life. But more importantly, smiling can bring you back up from the bottom. When we all move forward into this new stage of our lives, we'll experience hardships and roadblocks we've never experienced before. Issues that affected our parents will fall onto our shoulders. So when this new life of ours pushes us down and kicks us while we're there, stand back up with a smile. Keep your teeth showing because nothing clears out the darkness of life quite like a bright smile. Now, thinking back on my academic career, I have many fond memories of my friends. When they left me on the side of the road, when we decided to go on a little camping adventure and almost blew up the generator and all of us along with it, or that time when we all almost got murdered by a crazed man in his undies. These friends of mine are everything I could ask for all of high school. They've always been there for me when I needed them most, always there to stand by my side. And I could never explain how much they mean to me. Excuse me. A good friend can change someone's entire world. It can change someone's life. The thing is, you don't even have to be close to someone to be a friend. Just carrying a conversation with that quiet kid you had one class with. Helping someone out that just joined something you're in. Any small act of kindness towards someone could make you a friend. So always, always try to be a friend to someone. Always be that friendly face for someone to rely on. Be that better in someone's life or be that change for someone's world. We all have the power to change a life, so why not change one for the better? The final thing I want all of you to give is some help. For example, when I needed help thinking of a joke, I asked Mackenzie to give me a joke, and she responded, but Mrs. Borden thought I should say something else. So instead, here is Mrs. Borden's favorite joke. <clears throat> Jace's public speaking grade. <laughs> a little help can go a long way. But help is something we all need in our life. At any point, with anything, we've all needed advice, some assistance, or even an open mind. In our world today, we are so quick to let others flounder and drown in the vast ocean of life while we just all float along. So why not help out others? Because it is too much work? Because it takes too much time? Putting forth work and giving time towards others is what makes us all great people. Help costs nothing in the end and it benefits you and those you help. So why not help? Lend a hand, pick someone up, help someone think of a joke. Go help people, even if it takes you off your path for a few minutes. Everyone could always use a hand or some kind words to make their day easier. Be that person to lend a hand. Be that helper in someone's life. Be that person that keeps someone afloat. Smile every day, be a friend to all, and always help those in need. This isn't professional advice, but I believe wholeheartedly that with this, life won't be flawless, it won't be completely easy, but it will be a lot more satisfying. We are making our exit from this school and leaving behind our history and our mark. We have done things in this school that no other previous classes have done. We've won championships in many sports, have traveled to many states with our band, and have set standards that nobody else could surpass. But this does not make us the best. I believe the best will be sitting in class at the start of next year as seniors. This year's junior class has some of the brightest, kindest, and most talented students I have ever come across. I've had the amazing opportunity of calling some of these students friends and some even family. These upcoming seniors are hardworking, intelligent, and willing to help at a moment's notice. It is always said that the graduating class is leaving behind shoes to fill, but our shoes are old, dirty, and smell like an animal died inside of them. These juniors are coming in, throwing them out, and setting a new precedent for what it means to be a senior. So without further ado, 
one of my best friends, one of the smartest people I've ever met, and one of the people I know will succeed from now until forever. Ladies and gentlemen, the junior class president, Mr. Cruz Wright. Good evening. My name is Cruz Wright, and I am here on behalf of the 2020 class to accept the mantle and its responsibilities from the senior class of 2019. With this mantle comes the weight of courtesy, honor, and service that the junior class is excited to wear upon their shoulders. The 2019 class has laced a stinky, worn out pair of shoes difficult for anyone to fit. However, the junior class hopes that during our senior year, we can grow into the same magnitude of uniqueness, hopefully without the stench. <laughs> the senior class is one of the most diverse groups of people tied together by passion and dedication. And of all the groups to be divided across, no student belongs to just one. Every student in the senior class has found a place where they belong amongst their friends. <clears throat> the seniors have led with courtesy, honor, and service gracefully and will now be allowing the junior class to grow with the same important values. The 2019 senior class has set standards for their peers that will challenge them to be the best at what they do and uphold the values of courtesy, honor, and service. The senior class has been successful on the field, in the classroom, on the stage, and across the country. I know I speak for the junior class and all underclassmen when I say that we would love to be as successful as the senior class. As juniors, we would love to represent the school at national math competitions like Elliot Thorpe or be as studious as Abby Laborde. We would love to score the winning touchdown or represent our school at takedown cancer matches like the volleyball and wrestling teams. We would love to rock a mullet like Jude Palo or keep it classy with the Eli Glass man bun. <clears throat> Just the same, we would love to radiate positive vibes like Mackenzie Matthews and the composure of Haley Stott. And although some of us won't be all state musicians or the life of the student section, in our own ways, we will become the heartbeat of Clearfield High, just the same as you. You have done many amazing things, but the greatest thing you have shown us is friendship and what you can accomplish with it. Without the friendship of Emily Marshall, Remington Sugarts, and Jace Cuphart, would the stage at Clearfield High be the same? No, because they have inspired friends like Spencer Graham and Herschel Johnson to showcase their talents alongside them. Without the dedication of McKeeley Redden, Brianna Shaw, Allie Hurtland, and Thad Butler, would the face of volunteer clubs be the same? No because as students, they have made it part of their mission to work hard for themselves and their community. Without the students who work, who work hard in and out of school, like Lainey Hudson and Chloe Brower, while being the poster of friendship, what would the standard be for the busiest students? The senior class has created a lifestyle of hard work and determination for themselves, but the lifelong friendships of the senior class will be what they are best remembered for. I hope for the senior class and any other class that friendships like these will continue to grow and spark in new ways. To the senior class, I wish continued success and happiness. Although you will be leaving this small part of the world behind, <clears throat> excuse me, the people here will never forget you. We hope to make you as proud of us as we are you and to one day create the same family that you have. The junior class will gladly accept the responsibilities you leave behind as you enter the next chapter of your life. Thank you for being our friends, the school's students, the stage's performers, and the field's athletes. Most importantly, thank you for being a part of the Clearfield High family. Best wishes to the senior, dare I say graduating, class of 2019. May your lives be bountiful, your friendships endless, and your hearts be full. Thank you.
It is my pleasure to extend to each one of you, as members of the class of 2019, a heartfelt and well-deserved congratulations, and to also congratulate those parents, family members, and friends that have stood by these graduates and helped to make this day come true. Tonight marks the end of an era of your lives. Years of studying, dances, music, and sports have led to this gratifying moment. As a class of 2019, you sit here watching and listening as your high school years come to an end. Please take a moment to reflect and appreciate the significance of your fine accomplishment. For tonight's graduation marks not only your passage from the halls of Clearfield High School, but is also a declaration of your commitment and effort. This evening, you stand at the beginning of your adult lives without high school. Some of you are going to the workforce, some to college, some to the armed forces. I encourage all of you to identify your opportunities and pursue them. I know that each of you can make a substantial difference in our world. As you leave us tonight, take with you your own cherished memories, remembering your friends, remember those people that have influenced you and have helped you, and most of all, remember the good times laughing spent in our hallways of Clearfield High School. You have certainly proven yourselves outstanding young adults. Class of 2019, you have done everything we've required you to do. As a class, you've represented yourselves, your families, and the Clearfield Area Junior High School with honor, dignity, character, and integrity. May you be blessed with great health, lots of happiness, and tremendous success. Please remember you are always welcome here in the hallways of Clearfield. Class of 19, it has always been a pleasure, and as always, we are Clearfield. Before I present you as a class, I'd like to leave you with a poem that I have had on my wall for the past 10 years. I try to read it every day. It's called The Living Tree Poem by Bonnie Moore. Life is not a race, but indeed a journey. Be honest, work hard, be choosy. Say thank you, I love you, and great, great, great job to someone each day. Go to church, take time for prayer. The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh. Let your handshake mean more than a pen and paper. Love your life and what you've been given. It is not an accident. Search for purpose and do it as best you can. Dreaming does matter. It allows you to become that which you aspire to be. Laugh often. Appreciate the little things in life and enjoy them. Some of the best things really are free. Do not worry, less wrinkles are more becoming. Forgive, it frees the soul. Take time for yourself, plan for longevity. Recognize the special people you've been blessed to know. Live for today, enjoy the moment. President Putt, 136 members of the Clearfield Area Junior Senior High School Class of 2019 have completed the requirements for the awarding of their diploma as set forth by the Clearfield Area Board of School Directors and the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. It is therefore with the greatest pleasure that I have the honor to present to you for the presentation of their diplomas, the 143rd graduating class of Clearfield Area Junior Senior High School, the class of 2019. Abby Renee Laborde. <clears throat> Elliot Douglas Thorpe. Jace Tyler Keppart. Brianna Lynn Lazier. Jenna Nicole Spingola. <laughs> A 
Aspen Elizabeth Henschel. Jaden Ashley Wetzel. Madison Claire Owens. Samantha Faye Weiser. Thad Edward Butler. Taylor Cheyenne Welker. Morgan Lane Demchek. Makili Faith Redden. Brianna Carly Shaw. Ali Elizabeth Hurtland. Madison Taylor Liptak. <clears throat> Hannah Marie Fayok. Nevea Elizabeth Moore. Dana Jane Royer. Jocelyn Eve Grace. Cole Andrew Smay. Ryan Christopher Forsey. Remington James Sugarts. Herschel Van Johnson. Lily Marie Rosinski. Emily Ray Lazier. Nicole Claire Marie Belkowski. Alexis Renee Shomo. Cody James Shaw. Trevor J. Collins. Jonathan Andrew Bowman. Frederick Connor Hartline. Taylin Michelle Lynch. Lancelot S.B. Solt. Jason Allen Rothrock. Dylan Lee Carfley. Mark Adam DeSantis. Isaac Hassis Swanson. Adara Ann Passmore. Zachary Elwood Irvin. Faith Nicole Irwin. Zoe Helena Poole.
Lauren Brooke Sadison. Blaze Alexandria Benedict. Lindsay Dawn Shaw. Chase Gavin Bell. Caleb Anthony Freeland. Alexander Thomas Fleming. Samuel Tucker Pennington. Darian Lindy Fluger. Michaela Dawn Lutz. Hunter Macklin Ellis Baum. Andrew Michael Gavlock. Tyler Scott Henry. <laughs> Seth Eugene Mack. <laughs> Todd Lee Stiles. <laughs> Mazzy Ray Akimba. Haley Nicole Dobbs. Crystal Jean Hazel. Patience Alyssa Peranich. Kyle Shannon Cutler. Gilbert Apache Baez Jr. Carly Joe Rumsky. Elena Grace Ryan. Gabriel Paul Good. Ryan Christopher Lazowskis. Keegan James Hess. Logan Thomas Munchauer. Cameron Lynn Thomas. Tyrone Lee White. Tyler James O'Shea. William Barrett Klein III. Noah Michael Johnson. Jude Patrick Palo. Spencer Lee Graham. Kyler William Rosinski.
Ashley Renee Struble. Kelsey Dawn Van Tassel. <laughs> Haley Rose Stott. <laughs> Elijah Mackenzie Glass. <laughs> Tay Philip Lynch. Nicholas David Blowers. Isaac John Rummery. Ty Dustin Bender. Christopher Raymond Fenton. Alexandra Catherine Schultz. Mackenzie Ann Matthews. Caitlin Marie Fye. Austin James Fontenoy. <laughs> Stacy Ann Houchins. <laughs> Emily Grace Marshall. <laughs> Mason David Dallas Yoakum. Logan James Stover. <laughs> Ryan Michael Lutz. Dylan Joseph Thompson. Riley Marie Paul Cook. Skyler Jameson Bumbarger. <laughs> Kaylee Alexis Riesinger. <laughs> Taylor Nicole Martin. <laughs> Laura Lynn Laniger. Haley Marie Owens. Laney Elise Hudson. Chloe Grace Brower. Mindy Louise Fleming. Alex James Dobb. <laughs> Jessica Sarah Mahalam. Sarah Elizabeth Snyder. Madison Renee Thompson. Jasmine K. Hunter. Jordan Elizabeth Mallon. Brianna Lee Miller. Madison Hannah Oswald. 
Mason Augustus McHenrick. Avery Allen Rolls. Gideon James Knapp. Sabrina Marie Shomo. Cassidy Rose Barnum. Tori Allen Williams. <laughs> Levi Daniel Rock. <laughs> Charles Richard Gardner, Jr. <laughs> Ethan Albert Dodge. Tyler Matthew Harzinski. Kevin Martin Housel. Avery Blaine Aaron Geiswhite. Jonathan Aubrey Thomas. Samantha Christine Sharma. Harley David Ruji. Keaton Dakota Scott. Hunter Carl Hips. Robert Barry Keir. Matthew Lewis Cowder. Franklin Gerald Nelson III. Matthew Ryan Peoples. Dayton Bryce Kelly. <laughs> Owen Glenn Strickland. <laughs> Rudy Isaiah Cordon.
Once again, congratulations to the class of 2019. This concludes our graduation ceremony. Thank you and good night. Seniors, we will be recessing through the auditorium. Thank you.